Hello Internet. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the motor mounts on the Michelangelo 3. Um, so, I've got a stepper motor here and I've installed a, uh, a pulley on here with a set screw and that is, uh, that uses a hex key. Um, you can adjust the height, which we'll do a little bit later. And I've glued this wooden piece on top of this one so that the holes give make my screw heads nice and flat. Yes? And this piece is going to be this piece is going to face you on the board uh, where you mount your machine and this one will be on the back and together they'll sandwich together and it adjusts so if you get a different thickness no problem. I put in three corner pieces already and the fourth is a 25 millimeter screw and then I put one, two, three, four spacers, two skate bearings, one washer, one spacer, and then my motor. Now a question comes up, which way do I put the motor? Uh, it doesn't make a big difference. Um, I say, if this is this is if this is straightforward, put the wire up at at the at the top. And if you're building it to go on the other corner, again, put it at the top. It's the same idea. And you should have more than enough wire. Well, I've got more than enough wire soldered on here, um, and I'm going to be. Yeah, I, I talk too much. Ah. <sighs> You'll notice um, these screws, these three screws are loose actually, and you'll see why in a moment. And they'll, uh, these screws will actually bottom out. They'll, uh, they'll stop at a certain point and you just can't go any further. And with a pair of pliers, I give I give these a little, I make these finger tight, yeah, and then uh, one more quarter twist. So these bearings aren't going anywhere. Now I talked about adjusting the height of this. You want the belt to go over and be as close as possible to the wood without the belt scraping on the wood. Um, and here's an example of the belt. I used I just hung a roll of tape on the end. Um, you can use a water bottle if you want to save the environment. This is this was a, a hack I had to do at the moment, uh, in the moment at a show. And a, a zip tie is all that it takes to give enough pressure that will hold on the pen holder with with no trouble, no trouble at all. So the counterweight will keep the belt on the on the pulley and. These four pieces, your screws can come in either from behind or from the front. It makes no difference. Now when you're running this, um, if you hear any buzzing from this corner, it means that one of these nuts is probably loose and you'll want to tighten that down. Um, what will happen over time is it will become more loose and it will buzz louder and louder um, and then uh, it may actually lead to the motor um, moving and you, of course you don't want that. You only want the belt to move, not the motor. So there we have our adjustable clamp. No, no, a very little, one piece of glue and hopefully no soldering required. How tight do you make this on your board? Well, I do these finger tight and if I'm feeling really paranoid, I give an extra, just a quarter turn is all it takes. You don't need to overdo it. Um, and when the belt is hanging, this one is off to the side and this one it should be down like so. And again, for the other direction, this belt would come from here and the other belt would come down like so. Okay, so please, um, if you have any questions, you can always ask in our forums at MarginallyClever.com uh, where we handle all our tech support. 
And um, and if you like this video, please please share with your friends and tell them about our, our cool robots. We'd love to see more of them in schools. Um, and and thank you for watching. This has been Dan from marginallyclever.com. Have a great day.